Okay, so I've got here a Toshiba laptop and I worked on this before, there's a video of it where I opened it up, there was sound coming from here sorry, there was sound coming from here, like a ticking sound and then after heating it up, sound went away I can hear it now um, anyway, it did come back and then I replaced MOSFET, MOSFET, COIL Diode, yeah, replaced two MOSFETs, one coil, oh sorry, one diode and one coil. I replaced them all. One, two, three, four. And I didn't do a recording of that because, you know, too many jobs ahead and no time to organize the recording. Um, at the time when I was investigating and searching, by the way, this laptop has a history. Um, a while ago, the motherboard died. Well, a while ago, meaning a long time ago, and customer came back because they purchased through us, but it was out of warranty. Um, but we did manage to get Toshiba to fix it under their warranty, and they used a third party company for that. And they said they replaced the motherboard as per their um, documentation provided. But when I opened the unit up last time, when there was no recording, there was actually a um, solder mark here around the charger controller and so that made me realize this, this motherboard was actually not replaced at the time by Toshiba when it was supposed to have been as per documentation so anyway the laptop had come back since then uh, a while ago well, it's been a while though and I'm not sure if it's the same problem because I keep hearing ticking sounds from this region and I'm not sure if it's from here or something else. So let's have a look at the first the area that soldering work was carried out by uh, Toshiba Authorized Service Center. Uh, so let's have a look. Yeah, this bit here was there before I touched it. No, I didn't do a video, I should have done it, but anyway, PR27 most likely has been replaced. Okay, so this has, let's have a look. It's currently got power in the board. Could be... Um, what's that number? PR27. Okay, so this is 88732. Uh, we do have this chip in stock. So that's something I haven't replaced. Before that, let's just check some measurements. Okay. The battery is still not plugged in. We're in DC mode. Um, I'll update the job information. Shiba C no L fifty dash B power on issues. Okay, that's better. We got the microscope there and job information. Okay, one sec. Okay, <coughs> so let's have a look. Okay, so why were you replaced? So we got power in the system at the moment. We're getting 2.68, that is not normal in my opinion. Let me get a better ground. Okay, there we go. And here. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. So let's cut the power and have a look in resistance mode. Twenty. 20 kilons Is that a crack? Yeah, that is a crack in there Okay I do have a compatible uh, same board. Let me check. One sec. Two, two, three. Okay. And what do we measure here in resistance? Twenty. So the other one looks okay in terms of these measurements. So let's take this out, swap it out anyway. So let's see what happens to power when we apply it. <clears throat> okay, voltage mode, ground. Plug in the power adapter. That's a better voltage. And we have the power line. Okay. So in my opinion, this is a internally maybe known problem. Something Toshiba knows. They get the laptop, they just replace that resistor. Put him away. And check if that ticking sound is still there.
No, not to consume. Have a look. And the flex mark was already left there. So we'll clean that up. Maybe the flex did some bad damage, I don't know. But you never know, the problem may creep up again. It's one of those kind of laptops. I really hate this model. I've had a rough experience, tough life. A similar model before. That's why I got many donor boards for this. Did I forget something there?
Now this one unfortunately the ribbon cable got burnt during the the ribbon connector holder burnt during the time I was replacing components here. So I'm using this made up solution to hold that cable in place. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. PC3L, 4 gigabyte. I've got a bunch of them PC3L. PC3L, Just quickly, DDR3L 12800S Perfect, now we'll make it 8 And it should go into BIOS because there's no battery. Maybe not. LCD cable connected. Maybe I'll take that extra RAM out. Okay. So we'll mark this RAM as bad. See you later on later. What do you know? He doesn't like oh there we go, he likes it. Yep, eight gig i7 fourth generation. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.